hey, how are you? My name is Tammy Harden and I'm the Unemotional Eater. And I just wanted to talk about, you know, one of the tools that I use for stress reduction as, as I take people through the Unemotional Eater program. That, you know, about, I mean, back in 2007, I found, and on a fluke, I found this thing called EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. You know, the simple term, the simple explanation for it is it's a series of tapping on acupressure points that reduces stress in the body. You know, what, I, what I've come to understand, I've worked in, the, in and around the addiction field for uh, 25 years now, and, and the thing that I've come to understand is stress is the precursor to any type of um, relapse, coping behavior, and so the more that you can reduce stress in the body, the greater someone is going to be able to stay on, on their plan. Um, you know, I for many years I tried to create a life where I, I had had less stress in it, but that's really not reality because we're stressed twenty. You know, we're we there's stress going on twenty four seven. You know, our cell phones, the red lights, cars honking, bank lines, you name it. There's always something going on. So it's really more about managing the stress response from an internal level. And, and EFT has the ability to do that because as you're tapping on these acupressure points, they're actually connected to your fight and flight organs. And so it actually turns the volume down internally so that somebody can be calm and balanced in their body pretty much no matter what's going on. You know, I, I use it, I, you know, I, because I, I've been working with it for so long, I understand kind of how to how to use it to do some other things as well. I mean, it's pretty an, it's a pretty powerful tool, but you know, I teach it from a self care standpoint, but also I use it from a a changing traumas and just overall responses in general. So, um, so the way we're going to talk about it now is going to be more of a self care standpoint. And so the first thing I want to just teach you on a day is just what the points are and just talk about that. There's, there's, you know, people have shortened it over the, over the years, they've lengthened it. Um, my deal is whatever works for you works. Um, you can start anywhere. It doesn't matter where you start. It's just where, whatever routine you get into with it. It doesn't matter if you tap on all the points. Um, some people have favorite points. You know, always say when I go to the dentist, you know, I will, I'll tap here or I'll tap here or I'll tap on my fingers. Um, you don't have to tap all the points. It's, it's just, you know, getting into your routine with it. Um, but each of those points have, do have a purpose. So, you know, what you can, what of those points you hit is, is in your best interest. So I'm going to just go through the tapping points real quick. And there's also, um, I'll, on my site, there'll be like a, like a, a you know, a PDF, a sheet of what all the points are, just so you'll have that. Because, um, you know, when you're trying to get used to it, it's just kind of nice to have that from a visual standpoint. So we always start on the karate chop point, and, and we do some kind of a, a setup statement, you know, even though fill in the blank is happening, um, I deeply and completely, I was taught in the beginning to say, I love and accept myself. Some people have such a negative response to that. Now we'll just say, you know, I accept myself. I always add my emotions because I deal with a lot of folks whose emotions are way off the scale. And so beginning to accept the emotions allows you to not be in, in rebellion against them. And so we go there and then we just, then we just go through the points is, is how you'll hear it referenced. And so we start with the eyebrow point, which is right where your eyebrow begins. Then on the side of the eye, on the bone, where the eyebrow ends, underneath the eye on the orbital bone, underneath your nose, on the chin where the chin fold is, on the collarbone, I just take my whole hand and that way I kind of get that. Um, and then under your arm, you're about six inches underneath your armpit where, you know, where your bra strap, where like the, um, where the bra strap goes, um, or actually, you know, anyway, you know, and then I do an, a, one that I normally don't see, but at the base of the skull where your neck and your skull come together, I tap back there. 
and then on the top of the head if you were a puppet and had a string and then sometimes in my routine you'll also see me do both wrists um, together and then on the end I personally always grab my wrist take a deep breath and say peace you know I've, I've been taught I've, you know I've studied under different people and so different people bring different things to the to the mix and, you know I see this as no different than you would tell a dog to sit I'm telling my body to go into a peace state. You know, I'm I'm a follower of of Jesus, and when you look at his writings, he's always talking about how he's leaving his peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Um, there's lots of reference to peace, and so that's really the state that we want to put our body in is into a peace state. And so that's just my command to my body. So. I hope that's helpful. We'll continue the conversation um, just so that I can help you begin to understand how to use EFT as, as a general self-care for reducing stress in the body. So we'll talk again soon. Blessings.